good afternoon more medic one I've got a Briggs and Stratton engine here and uh, I haven't done a valve job in quite some time it's kind of the slow season so uh, customer said go ahead and do it uh, basically I want to I'm doing this just as a refresher uh, I'm not going to charge much much labor to do it uh, in turn he's gonna let me keep it for a couple of weeks uh, to do videos and stuff on it so works out for the both of us anyway I'm going to use the Briggs & Stratton valve spring compressor. I'm going to show you how to take the valve keepers off of the uh, valves on a Briggs engine. This will also work on Tecumseh's and Kohler's, so it's a pretty universal tool. What I like to do is set the tool just a little bit wide uh, to where it will go down in there. If you set it too short, uh, you won't be able to get the top uh, part of the tool on top of the valve spring. So basically set it wide that way the tool will, won't try to cam down and that way when you push it over the valve it'll go on the top of the valve once you have the tool on the top part of the valve you can take and crank this adjustment right here out a little crank it out till you can actually take and splay this open like that and like that and this one's going to have to go a little bit wider yeah, that's good. This has actually got a rotator on the valve. And this one's a little bit more tricky. There it goes right there. Once you get it on that rotator, then you can tighten this down a little bit. That'll keep it from coming off. This one's not working with me. Come on. Like that. Now whenever you start turning this in it's starting to squish that valve once you compress that valve enough you'll see the keepers fall off the valve like that now what you want to do don't do it too hard let me find my pair of pliers once you get the keepers off, you can reach in through the exhaust port and push that valve up. Like that. And you just reach and pull the valve out. You want to inspect and make sure it's not, whoa, focus. You know, you want to inspect it and make sure it's not burnt up. Uh, I'm going to put new valves in this engine, but uh, check your valve guides and uh, the faces in the seats and uh, that's how you get the valves out of a Briggs engine. If you have any questions about Briggs engines or Kohler's or Tecumseh's, uh, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Appreciate it. Have a good day.